everyone. Welcome, welcome again. And um, thank you for joining me, tuning in for my day, my day seven of Go Life Journey. Um, good evening from Singapore. And uh, we've got a very heavy rain and thunderstorm now. And good morning or good afternoon, depending wherever you are watching from whichever part of the world. And uh, if you are watching me for the first time, once again, thank you. And my name is Jen. I'm from Singapore. I'm a working mother with two teenagers and I'm also a digital business owner. And uh, today I have invited another of my business partner. So you can hear from the real people, their real stories. So um, I'm very super excited <laughs> to introduce you, Esther Chia, uh, my business counterpart from our neighboring country, uh, Malaysia. Hello, Esther. Hello, Jen. Thank you so much yes. for inviting me yeah. for this interview. Uh, so, oh. yeah. So, so Esther, uh, like I said, I was very honored to have her with me today. And uh, just a brief introduction first. You know, Esther is from Penang, Malaysia, which I, as far as I know, I remember Penang for very nice mm -hmm. food. <laughs> and uh, she's yeah. a stay-at-home mom with two very cute boys. And like I say, she's, uh, of course, also a digital business owner. Yeah. So maybe with that, I uh, would like to invite Esther to just share a little bit about yourself. Sure. Thank you so much, Jen. Um, it is indeed my honor for uh, you to invite me to uh, for this interview. Um, so I know you through this uh, digital business. And exactly. uh, I'm very, um, I'm very impacted by your bubbliness and eagerness for breakthrough in life so um, one, let me just um recap uh, for myself for myself i'm actually from sarawak but i'm currently uh living in penang because i married my husband uh, and he's from penang so as usual we follow our husband and we got no choice <laughs> and uh, i'm actually from accounting background but i okay. took education as a side uh, side how to put it, a sideline because my okay. husband has a tuition center as well. And okay. um, after that, I venture into customer service as well because I feel that it is very important for us to always be in touch with people. So I, I throughout the eight years, um, I actually try out different things because it's, there seems to be something missing in my life. So that's why I decided mm. to um, try out different things. Okay. And um, just about one year ago, one year ago, then I decided that enough is enough. I just feel that there is no purpose in what I'm doing. So that's where um, somehow or rather I managed to get in touch with this uh, digital business. Mm. So, so I'm actually very introvert. So if you see that I'm getting nervous, right, it's my nature. But so for me, to actually <laughs> agree to you now, I feel that this is a big change for myself as well. <laughs> yes, yes. I guess, I guess this is something that a lot of us go through. And it's amazing that you are here you know on this platform you know and esther is one of the um first few ladies that i get connected with when i was uh just being a newbie on this business you know she's given me lots of uh, help and advice so really thank you very much so yeah. so i know that um you also have two young kids you know and previously you were in like different industry like you say financial education and customer service so maybe you can share with us uh, what were your pain and struggles, you know, before you start this online business? What were your trigger point that makes you want to start this? Mm, okay. Mm. So back, um, I guess you can say after I graduate, the only way I know, um, as in the way of life, is just to work. Because that is what we have been taught ever since mm. we are young. I'll put it, we are yes. young. We see our parents go through mm. the same path as we do. Mm. So mm -hmm. that is where after graduation, I just continue to work knowing that this is the only way I can put food on the table. But um, after some time, if I'm still single, it's pretty fine. After some time when I have my kids, right, like, then a lot of other considerations come into place. I, I, mm -hmm. uh, my husband and I actually thought that we wouldn't send our kids to um, the daycare, kindergarten. But at the end of the day, we still have to send them. And that's where a lot of things start to change. Time becomes a constraint when we need to work and we do not have time for our kids. Uh, so imagine 24 hours a day and we only have four hours left at the end of the day to 
not to be with them, you know, to settle the things at home. So mm-hmm. that was something I really struggled because during uh-huh. the pandemic time, which is in the year 2020, I find that I don't understand both the kids. That was something that stabbed me in the heart, you know. It's like, uh-huh. yes, we yes. know that we have to be there with them um, in the beginning, especially the early years of their life. And we are not there. Somehow we are just not there because there are so many things to do. Even if we're off work, and we still have to keep thinking about work. So yes, our, yes. our mind is not on them. So that's where I realized that it's time to look for alternatives. Okay. And yeah, that was actually my, my breakdown point. <laughs> it's like, mm. I need to really um, find an alternative. I cannot continue to work in shift and continue mm. to have to work on my mind after work. So it's like yeah. my life is fully work. So that yeah. is the change. That, uh, that is really my, my break, the trigger break, break. point. Trigger point, um, yes, the trigger yes. point. So I, I thought, yes, uh, sorry. sorry, yeah. Oh, okay. So now I, I was saying that I am, I feel like I'm an, unable to be a present uh, daughter, mother, and wife during that eight years of time. Uh, so mm-hmm. that was something I feel very, um, how to put it, uh, mm, regretful out of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess it's not too late. And like you say, which is very true, Esther, is since young we have been um instilled that we will have to do it this way we study then we we go to work and then we just need to make sure that we work and work and work get married have family have children continue to work and just have this circle that goes so on like expected, and you know it's expected and that we should yes, do that. and you, you you think that this is life, right? Until <laughs> this is something that you realize that, hey, and I think it's a good thing because COVID actually, I mean, it is, it made a lot of people realize that what mm. are the things that uh, matters in life. Thinking, and that a lot of people had this opportunity to reflect upon themselves and what yes. they really want. I am glad it happened for you. I mean, it had that it happened for me too. Yeah. So, so this is interesting because uh, after that trigger point, you know, okay, I have to do something, right? Mm. Now, why why did you decide to join this business? I mean, mm. there would be I think plenty <laughs> of plenty of other opportunities you can look at, right? But mm. we know you don't want shift work, but there are other possibilities. So why why this online business? Mm, okay, so to be honest, right? Um, uh, oh, I, yeah, I think I forgot to mention I was in the financial industry for eh, for a while. Uh, yeah, so I got to. Um, I, I got to learn about insurance as well and mm. also uh, mutual funds as well. Okay. So we can say that those are some sidelines that I am exploring. But something just doesn't um, seem to be fulfilling doing all this. Uh, so that's where mm-hmm. I realized that I need something that is manageable and mm. also at the same time, I must have support. So when we do... Um, a lot of sidelines that all side income that we have, right? Yes. I feel that um, my time is really drained out. Already, I only have four hours left a day in order to do the side uh, job, right? It feels yes. like I'm drained out of all the time that I actually have. So it's like, I, I don't get the satisfaction from all this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting mm-hmm. further away from what I want to achieve. But mm-hmm. when we come to this digital business, to be honest, I did not um, particularly search for digital business. Mm-hmm. But somehow or rather, I guess it's God's uh, gift. Somehow it just came along. Come to you. Even, yeah, it just yeah. come to me. At that time, I don't even know that it is a digital business. So mm-hmm. what I saw was um, in the uh, ad that I saw, right, it was really just about us mothers, the struggles that we have, the things that we face in our family on a daily mm-hmm. basis. So that's where I just want to learn more. How can I actually get out of it? So from mm-hmm. there, that's where I learn more about this digital business. How sure. I can use my spare time to actually mm-hmm. uh, do this business. And mm-hmm. I am very amazed. And most importantly is I managed to get support from this digital business. I'm not alone. So a lot of things I feel that if we uh, were to do some side job, right? A lot of things we have to do on our own. But yes. on this platform, I feel like I have a lot of support. I'm not mm-hmm. alone. There is always somebody. There is always a mentor there who is always there mm-hmm. to guide me. Yes, to pull yes. me up when I'm down. So that is something yeah. that I, think I really needed. Yeah. I, I totally agree, you know. And like what you say, when you already have full 
full time job. I mean, for me, this is also a, a um, side hustle, a side mm. job for me currently. So um, we needed something to, like you say, support and complement, not mm. something to drain us off our energy. Yes. And at the end of the day, uh, we must be. It must be something that we can follow through, mm -hmm. because our time is so limited already. We, we 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 cannot have like you know put in another like so much dedicated time, dedicated, mm -hmm. dedicated time. So so you know like you say, firstly the support is really amazing, yes. not just locally, um globally. You know mm -hmm. like like here we are. You know and. We have people all over from the world, Australia, Canada, mm. US. With the same mindset and the same the, Yes. Yeah. And we have people who is always willing to give advice with no uh no financial gains. Right. Yes. I mean people help because they want everyone to be successful. Better. Yes, successful. Yes. Yeah. And I think also because we are all so busy working, mm. um, like you say, you know, this mm. is something that even we are um, not um, so-called tech savvy, you know, mm. because it doesn't come from this background, right? We don't even yeah. know what is digital business Not in the right. first place. Yeah, right. So it's like, what was that? <laughs> so then, because I think the training is so structured, even mm. like very uh, beginners that we don't know, it is very structured training that guide us through, then mm. we can actually learn step by step at our own comfortable pace, right? Yeah. Like when like you have time. Even grandmothers can do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, we do have um, grandmothers who are doing this business and they are pretty mm. successful. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Mm. So, so really, you know, I guess um, the system itself, the, the, the training itself and the type of support is something that is it's very real yes. and very important. And like you say, you know, if you are doing a side hustle, we need support. Mm. And many of other side hustles that you have out there, you are all alone by yourself. Correct. Yeah, I think this is a major difference that we have. Yeah. I agree with you. Thank you for sharing this part because it is, uh, it's, it's, it's very um, impactful to me as well. So I think it's, it's good to share with the audience. That's why we are together here, Jen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so maybe I would like to ask you, since you started on this business, um, what is your biggest result or what's your biggest change that impacted you? So for me, right, my biggest, I'll put it biggest change la, is myself. So okay. back uh, back, back then, about eight years, I, I guess it has been eight years, everything I was doing is for the sake of somebody else. It was not focusing on myself at all, what mm. I want. Always for them, for them, for them. So it's like... I for have, our children. Yes, for our children, for our family. Yes. I mean, it is good, it is good. I'm very happy to be doing that. But I slowly lost myself along the way. So when um, I actually decided to take up this digital business, right, I feel that I slowly start to understand more about myself, find out who I am, and from there, I can actually live a life that is able to bless others as well. Nice. So, I, so that was something that really changed because all this time, there was no time until I decided to let go of everything and yes. start again to find myself to find mm -hmm. what I really want. And through this business, I'm able to do that because yes. I have time freedom. Yes. Yeah. So this is what I feel <laughs> really, really impacted my life. Yeah, I, I think it's like, you know, whatever you say really touched my heart, you know. It's like you are speaking out from me, like, you know. <laughs> because I, I mean, I know this is an interview to interview you, right? But I just want to share this piece also is that um, I used to think that as a mother, my priority is my kids, my family, my kids, kids, kids. Mm. And I really neglected myself, you know. But it's also through this business, I realized that actually having time, loving myself, caring for myself is equally important. Mm. Yeah. And if we don't love and care for ourselves, how, if we don't start with ourselves, how do we then, I always say, how do I pump up my own love tank so my All tank right. is full enough to give it up to my other right. people. We're empty. Children. We're empty. There's nothing to pour out. <laughs> yes. So, so by loving myself and having that self-care, mm. it's, it's, it's okay. And mm. it is not selfish. It is actually very right. And I am very also blessed that because of this 
um, full tank, love tank I have for myself now, I can actually um, radiate out more. Like you yes. say, you know, you use, you use the word, I can bless others more, which is totally, totally true because then it gives us, or give me um, a bigger purpose and yes. purpose right. in life. Yeah. You feel satisfied with what you're doing rather than you have to do it because you have to do it. Yes, and I think, you know, the people around you can feel it, particularly yeah. your children, I'm sure. My husband definitely can feel it. <laughs> So so now, yeah. So now it's like you see, um, you you used to work. Now you're stay at home mom, running this digital business full time. I'm sure your kids will also appreciate your time. Your husband appreciate your time at home, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm. This is amazing. I just have one last um um thing to ask you before mm. we end off this. Um, what um or rather, what advice do you have for like our audience? Who are watching us you know everyday people ordinary people like us mm. um you know many, many because many mothers may be thinking i ah, you know i got no choice i got to work you know mm. i cannot take care but they want to take care of their kids a lot but mm. they think i have no choice so they think they are stuck mm. so maybe what advice do you have for them yeah that's that's what i felt also i feel like i was stuck <laughs> i was stuck i think every a lot of uh, a lot of mothers especially feel that they are stuck because they can't just be staying at home without uh, income and mm. just hoping that everything will be fine. So there is a guilt there. So for me, right, the advice I'll give is life is short, guys. <laughs> so life is short. We realized that during the pandemic in 2020. So really just look deep, deep within yourself. Mm. You will really find that sometimes um, money is not everything. It's not everything, but, uh, but we still have to have money, of course. So you really need to look deep within yourself. What is your priority in life? Yeah. Who are the people that um, you want to care for? Who are the people that you love? But mm. if you don't, because if you don't do that, right, every day will just pass by just like that. And snap, 10 years later, that's it. We are, we are still there, still stuck. You're still the same way, yes. yes correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. yeah, so that was something that I felt and I hope that um, I'm able to share this with everyone here. And of course, I want to say something also. Is Jam is an inspiring mentor. You can see that she is filled with energy to help others to change life. Thank you. So really, so just, is Esther. <laughs> so really, really, just chat with Jam. Just listen to the stories of people who have changed their life because of this business. Not just life, but their heart as well. Knowing that there is possibility out there somewhere. It's not just what we know, but there is something out there that is better. For us in long term as well so change your lifestyle chat with jen <laughs> thank you thank you for the kind words and uh like i say once again you know i want to also thank esther for being there for me in during my newbie days you know she's given me a lot of advice and encouragement and support really you know i really appreciate that so i think for everyone out there thank you so much for your time so uh, if you think that you know you want to um find out a little bit more what is this business about and whether does it is it something that may be suitable for you or not you know i think that there's really no harm just trying to find out more so mm -hmm. do chat with us you know um just click on the link here um you know if you find out more information or just connect with me then i'm happy to share with you um and then we we, we can see what's the next step moving forward yeah definitely that, do it guys <laughs> <laughs> thanks again esther and oh, tomorrow God. is actually my day eight of my go life journey and um i have an, another um, global business partner to introduce to everyone so do hope you can also tune in with me tomorrow same time um 5 p.m tomorrow on 29 september wednesday so till then uh take care everybody and I once again would like to ask if you haven't liked and follow or share my page, please continue to do so here. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, and have a good day. Bye. Bye.